Welcome back, everybody, to the finale of Let's Play AT Koga. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer. We've managed to plunge ourselves deep into the core of the planet RCL to communicate with the planet to, you know, try and save it from killing itself. And unfortunately, the planet, the planet talks back. The planet talks back with a really angry form. And it's time to fight it. Let's do it. This is it, the final boss of the game. Ciela herself. Now, if I remember correctly, I uh, oh, Susanomiya, what happened to your? It's now just a, it's a dupli dupe. Is that just your um, level one thing? I wasn't aware that was the, that was the case. Okay, we've got doll models H doll model HBLs S's to to kill, and in fact, we should kill these things probably before we actually attack Ciela in the back. So uh, let's spend some time doing that. <laughs> I I don't want to screw this up. Oh jeez. Speaking of screw up. Stop it! Get out of here! Get the hell out of here, dude! You... You leave her alone! What? Really? Are you kidding me? That's not at all what I wanted. But okay. Oh, that's right! The, the song magic has changed because it's the final battle. That's... That's why. Oh, God damn it. Hey, there's the song magic. Get out. You're a jerk. We just need to get the beat ups going. Whoa! My ears! That is not fair! Don't do that to me. Right, we need to heal. We need, we need it. We need to heal. Uh, coconut. You take some. And uh, the good doctor. You shall. You shall have some. Uh, be good betas too. All right, I'll use this. All right, there you go. There we go. All right, level one. I think we'll be able to kill these things with a, with a good either level three or four song magic spell. I'm just going to try to get there as quickly as we can. Whoa! Holy crap! That's less than good. Large HP recovery in range. Are we near enough to each other? Not really. Alright, All right. just just I'll use use, use the normal thing. Oh fuck! Come on! Really? Don't do that to her! That's not at all what I wanted. Damn it, aim. Oh dear. I think the guy in the back is going. Oh, damn it, controller. Why do you have to do this to me now? Why? Why in the last fight? The last goddamn fight of the game! I can't win! Stop it, stop it, stop it. You get out of the circle. This is not the friendship circle. Oh my god, do you see this shit? Do you see what I have to deal with? With this stupid goddamn controller. Oh my god. I'm gonna get killed by this. I'm gonna get killed by my controller. Not the not the enemies. Just, just my controller. Oh god. Coconut's about to die. Coconut, no. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? There's one, one thing I could do that I haven't done like for the entirety of the game. Like control somebody else. It might help with positioning. I just I just never could be bothered to actually control someone else. Never really a reason to. Out of here. You get the fuck out of here, man. God damn it! Um, ow, my leg. God, ow! Oh, my leg. Gamer down. Gamer down, son of a bitch. All right, let's do this again. This is just... This is just a good... I've not gotten a chance to actually launch an attack of my own. Yeah, and we've been fighting for, say, for what, five minutes now? This boss fight should not be difficult if it wasn't for my stupid controller. Look at this. All I need to do is hit left, left or up on the D-pad, and my controls. Look at, look at this fucking shit. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Okay. There's some win. There's some win. We got some win. Use some healings. Some right, healing items. I'll use this. 
I think we have like a ton of these in stock. All right. Ah, uh, coconut. Uh, yeah, just give gift to everybody. All right. I I'll use this. Doctor, but okay. All right. I'll use this. You'll be and, You know, if I have anything to heal poison, I'll I'll use it. Uh, ailment and small HP recovery. Uh, in range. I think it just does poison. It's just by itself. These are all bombs. I don't need bombs. Speed boost. HP recovery. No. I don't want to have to use poison resistance. It's kind of useless to me right now. Temporary poison immunity. If I give this to Coconut now, right, is it cure for poison? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Alright, get it. You're, you're dealing with the poison. Oh, thank God, finally. Oh, we got the ice spell. Oh my God, is my luck finally turning around? Is my luck finally turning around. How are we doing in the... We've ki almost killed these things. By ourselves. Oh, jeez. Give me, give me the, give me the attack up. All right, and let's actually use. I, I mean, let's let's hit all of them, shall we? This should kill the other guys. Considering this is the only time we're gonna get to see the spell in action. Uh, did, did that, did that kill it? Wait, did, did we win? N no, we didn't. Oh, the music has changed. Ah, okay then. Fair enough. Hmm. We have one more of these things to kill now, apparently. It, it, it's either respawned or it's... Hmm. God, listen to this music! Oh, oh shit! Alright. I, I can dig it. Hey, don't mind me. Hey, don't, don't mind me. Oh god, are you kidding me? It's spawning more? No! Not again! I had to work so hard! Stay alive, guys. Having some uh, technical difficulties over here. We'll, we'll get through this. We'll, we'll figure this out. Just. God damn it, game! Work with me! That is not working with me! Did you see how all of them popped out at once? This is what I have to deal with, this stupid controller! I knew this thing would give me trouble. I knew this thing would give me trouble in the final battle of the game. I knew this from day one. Day fucking one! I'm like, uh, I'm probably gonna get to the final battle and this thing's just not gonna wanna work. Okay, there's win. We got win. We got one. We, we got one freaking thing. Ow. Oh god, the doctor's about to die. Doctor! I'll use this. Stay strong, buddy. Uh, hi. Yeah, let me let me just block it this time. Thank you. No, I'm not letting you do this. Get the hell out of here, dude. Oh, thank God. Whew. All right. One. That's two. All right, I think we're gonna want to get our burst gauge as high as it possibly can go, and then, and then, we'll launch a flip sphere. Oh god, yeah, this, everything spawned again. High as humanly possible. Let's, let's try to get this thing over like a hundred thousand. I don't think we've ever launched a spell that strong. Thank you. Please. This music is so, like, nice and haunting at the same time. It's kind of crazy. Oh, this thing killed me dead. Ha! Ah, let's, 
kill this thing physically because we freaking can. <laughs> uh, oh, we're already at 135,000. Do it. Just do it. Level four this shit. Death beams from above. Ooh. Oh, that damage. Did we do it? I think we did, but... We totally did, but now it's in another phase. Alright. Phase three. Let's do it. There we go. Bring in the wind. Start with the defense. Ow! Yeah, let's not attack the, the big giant monster in the middle, please. Yes! <laughs> I got the ice spell! Just need to get up to... Up to fire! Lightning! I, I suppose it actually doesn't really matter at this point. Really, the healing and the defense is all we need uh, to, to make sure that we stay prolonged in this fight. Don't oh, throw lightning now. I think again, we're gonna try to get to like maybe 120,000. <laughs> Everything here. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh! Oh my ears! Oh, oh my god, did you hear that? Ow! It should freaking hurt. Alright, that's it. Do it! Do it again! Damn it! Get beaten back by my death rays. Yet again. Let's see, do they follow the do they follow the three phase rule? Did it Did it just say thank you? Oh my god, listen to that. Listen to the music. I don't know, dude. There's actually a fourth phase in here. Jeez. Don't attack her! Just attack these things! This thing's ass. Yes, there's the healing. I'm wondering if we even need to get as much as we as I thought we did. I don't know. Let's just try going to level three here and let's just see. I feel like 50,000 or 60,000. Alright, we'll do as soon as we can to get the flip sphere. I'm wondering if we like, even need to wait as long as we have it. Alright, uh, let's try this at 80,000. Three 
of these goddamn things in a row. Alright, how about it? Is this enough? Is this enough to finish her off? I swear to god she said thank you when we got into this phase. Oh my god, she said it again! I'm not crazy! Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god, really? This stupid thing. They just stopped attacking. RCL has started to fuse with the core square ring. What does that mean? We did it? Really? Does that mean we were successful? That's right. The world has been saved. Yes! Unfortunately, we don't have time to rejoice now. Wait, what? Why? Huh? The dome will remain in the planet's core. We need to detach the wing module in 180 seconds. Oh, okay. Detach? What does that even mean? We're leaving the heart of Gaia within the depths of RCM. It'll nurture the renewed life of the planet. Okay, sounds good to me. The dome will be its outer shell, so the modules will detach, and only the wing will return to the surface. Wait a minute. Aren't we in the dome? Oh, no. If we don't get back to the wing, we'll become a part of the core of RCL, too. Oh, shit. What? Please move quickly. <laughs> don't have to tell me twice. But what about you? I will stay here. Wait, what? I must operate the dome up until the last moment to ensure the planet successfully links with the heart of Gaia. What? Let's go, Auto! Oh shit, alright, I guess we gotta go. Godspeed, Harvestasha. Godspeed. Hurry! Thank you, Harvestasha. And she's leaving us with a smile. God damn, Harvestasha. God damn. You really were a hero in the end. Alright. We gotta make it! Finnell, you're kind of lagging behind there. Finnell? What's wrong, Finnell? Come on! What? Uh, oh, Toph, I'm sorry. I'm staying here. What? Fiddle, what are you talking about? Oh, Toph, I'm returning to RCL. They're calling to me. Ciela and everyone else is telling me to come back to them. You don't have to do anything further. Don't go! You must not go! It's all right. I'm just going back to where I came from to tell Arcia how wonderful you and all my friends are. Fiddle! Oh, Tom. Thanks. You're the one person who made me happy. To defend such a man, I'm gonna become the planet. Wait, Fiddle, no! Goodbye. Oh, God damn it, we did not go through all this trouble! I need you to stay with me. That's right. You do that, man. Oh, don't. I won't let you go. I'm taking you home. But you know I'm not a human girl, right? I don't even know how much longer I'll live. I'm hopeless. That doesn't matter. I don't care if you're human or not, or how much longer you'll live. I just want to be with you. Oh, don't. I... Alright, as a... Oh, she said the L word. Alright, as... as <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, voice. As tender as this moment is, uh, we're gonna die. Let's get the hell out. Please. For my own sanity. Let's hurry.
Okay, did are are, are we good? I'm assuming we're safe? Oh, please let us be safe. Alright, well here's the wing. We're... Wait. We're in an ocean. We just surfaced. Did the planet really revive? I don't know. I mean, Aldo! it's land. Wait, whoa! Aldo! We're finally on the ground now. The sea of death's completely vanished. We can breathe the air. We can? Yeah, that's right. This planet <sighs> has been purified of the poison. Hey, wow, everyone. Look. I've never seen this before. How amazing! It's beautiful! <laughs> New life. We actually did it. God, everybody's coming to the surface. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, don't do that again. Oh my god, that's it. With Aru singing to the heavens, the planet has been revived. We've done it. And just listen to this, this credit music. It is absolutely divine. I'm hoping it doesn't cut out again like that. Oh god. Th this Let's Play has, has been a series of <laughs> unforeseen technical issues. Hardware-wise for me, ever since I upgraded my PC, I've been having all these problems just because of the capture card I'm using to record. This is relatively old because the PS3 doesn't want to be recorded on pretty much anything else. I'm actually going to lower the game volume a little bit more because that's blasting in my ears. Um, but anyway, that is it. That is Artanelico Koga, the nail of RCL, the final game in the Artanelico franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Because this this series is such a beloved series to me. It such the music, the world building, the lore, a lot of it. It's, a lot of it can be hokey too, but it is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous game for its atmosphere, its music. The characters are quite entertaining too at points. Uh, th this credit theme is going to go somewhere really cool in a minute, so I'm going to rapidly go through my rating for the game. Gameplay is going to be getting a seven out of ten. Re relatively solid. Uh, I feel like the system, however, they had in the first Artanelico, they kind of revolutionized the battle system in every single one of these games. <laughs> From 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I feel like the first one was the best kind of battle system. Just a simple turn-based system. Uh, 2 was, I think, the most fun. 3, I hated the most. I, I n never liked the 3D realm battle system they had in this game. It, it, it's clunky, it doesn't really work well, and you see how much trouble my controller was giving me. But that's that's more on my end than the game's fault. It's just... I don't know. It doesn't work as well as I think they had hoped it would. But anyway. So, next on the list... Characters. 
Characters are going to be getting a, a six and a half out of ten. Characters are very, very stereotypical, very JRPG, very anime, very goofy. They're fun, though. They're fun, and if they weren't so contrived of places, I probably would have given the score a little higher, but plot is going to be getting a 7 out of 10. Another really kind of silly plot, and a lot of it doesn't make sense for, like, the whole, like, first three quarters of the game until probably, like, we get to Clistania for the first time. But after that, it becomes a lovely ode and finishing to the entire Artinelico franchise and series as a whole, which is just absolutely glorious. Music is going to be getting a 10 out of 10. Of course it is. This is me we're talking about. Plus, the music of this game is fucking phenomenal. The hymns. I recommend you looking up all of the hymns of the Artinelico franchise on YouTube. They're that great. And graphics? A 7.5 out of 10. For the series, it was a really good step up and a really good step forward for what they could produce and show visually. People look a little clay, like clay dolls, but it, it's very pretty for the most part. And I think the atmosphere is very nice. All right. I'm going to be quiet because here is the best part of the song. Does it sound familiar yet? Because it should. Where it all began. Four years ago. In the land of Soul CL. Then two years later, in a land far away, And then to finish off... Probably one of the best ending credit themes in 
in almost any game I've ever had the, pr the privilege of playing. It's literally an homage to all three of game, all three of the games, all three of their title themes that link directly into each other, one after another. They all tell a story. They all tell the same story. The story of the planet's revival. You're so helpless. Wait, what? Look who's talking. Aldo! <laughs> We're swimming, aren't we? Well, she did say she wanted to go to the beach. Ha! Huh. Hey there, Fennel. You little... <laughs> I startled you! You've got some nerve. Here, take this. Serves you right. <sighs> this is so fun. The ocean is so beautiful. <gasps> Look, it's even bluer over there. <gasps> it shined. It's so amazing. You know, it's kind of hard to believe, and, and it's, it's easy to take for granted the things we know. This is someone who's never seen the ocean before, never been able to swim in it, because an ocean just didn't exist before now. Hey, Aldo. I want to go far away. Way beyond the horizon. There must be a whole lot of beautiful things out there. Yeah, there probably are. So, Aldo, why did you start to like me? Well, I mean... <laughs> You've got a flat chest! Oh no, that's so awful! I want to say it. <laughs> oh god damn it. No. We're going to we're going to give the right answer. The answer she wants to hear. The answer that we probably do feel deep within our heart. We always wanted to protect you because you Finnell were best girl. Well, I decided that I wanted to protect you. Huh? You've been through so much. You're always smiling. But deep down, I knew you were also hurt. All that time we were traveling together, I never saw you smile from the bottom of your heart. Oh, no. So I thought I'd make you smile and laugh to your heart's content. Finnell, from now on, I'll always be with you. I'll never let you be unhappy again. Oh, no. Thank you. All right. I'll make you laugh until you can't laugh no more. <laughs> Oh boy, what does that mean? Huh? Auto super move! Meteor swarm to the abs! Tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> stop it! Hey, hey, I said stop! <laughs> I give up! Oh, please stop! Dummy, I'm just getting started. Here's the main dish, my lady. My lady? <laughs> The world has been restored from utter devastation, and the ocean is blue again. Life has returned to the planet. And it's all thanks to you. Me? Well, without you, we wouldn't have worked so hard to save this world. You're our superhero. I don't know. I kind of doubt that. Yeah, superhero seems a bit much. You are a true hero. Being with you makes me happy. You're... Am I being weird again? No. I was just gonna say that you're making me happy. Hmm. Aldo, I like you a lot. Let's be together now and forever. We can do that, Finnell. Finn for Finnell. No, not Finn for Finnell. Finn because it's the end of the game. This will save the clear data. So if you want to create clear data, you totally can. Uh, final true ending. I've never gotten that before, really? Oh, well, fair enough. Oh, that is true. I never actually did see the final ending, did I? Hmm. Very interesting. Well, at least not the final true ending. 
So we can totally save over some clear data, which I suppose I shall over our Let's Play slot. So if you ever want to go back and go find more endings, find more art, go take a different route with the different heroines, you totally can. In fact, the, the New Game Plus for this game, considering how the game was laid out, it's actually quite nice because you don't have to start the game uh, directly from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks, Tyria. Uh, you don't have to start the game directly from the beginning. You can load your uh, your clear data. This is this is our new clear data. So if you load this this save data, you actually get the option. You have the option to choose where you want to start over from certain points. Uh, data transferred from the clear data are experience, leaf, and DP. Other data will reset to the original. So, we have three options. We can choose to start over from the very beginning, like you would expect. We can choose to start at the beginning of Phase 2, or from the Battle of Fate. Now, the Battle of Fate is the is the battle that uh, determines whether or not you get locked into the bad endings, or you can actually go for the good endings. So, that's the, that is the Battle of Fate where you actually rescue Tyria. Because if you, f if you fail at the Battle of Fate, you don't get Tyria, and you end up having to take the, the heroine's bad endings. Each of these points pretty much takes you directly before you have a relationship option. Well, except the beginning. The beginning takes you to the very beginning. Phase 2 takes you to, I believe, your... What is it? I believe the the first heart point option? I believe? And the battle of it takes you just before the third. I I don't remember. It's it's one of those two. I think it's this. And if you load the clear data, you will start the... um. You will start the battle of fate, I believe, with the with the same relationship points you got through your first playthrough of the game, or the most recent playthrough of the game that you saved over the clear safe slot, I believe. So that is pretty much that. Welcome back! I through the fancy magic of editing, we're 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 back to the title screen. I goofed that, but uh, <laughs> the you, th that's just what you can do if you load the game up from your clear save data file, you can you can start at any one of those three locations, which gives you the chance to choose which which path you want to go down, which heroine you want to romance and all that other stuff. Uh, though you do have to bear in mind, I believe, your Cosmosphere progress for the most part. That will get reset, I, I think. I'm not entirely sure. There's a couple of things that aren't really clear, considering that you can start at different points of the game. Uh, what gets carried over and what doesn't get carried over. But... When you complete the game for the first time, you get access to the extra menu, which will give you your encyclopedia for all the things you've either collected or synthesized throughout the course of the game. Your song magic anthology, so you can see the songs of everybody that you have managed to use and obtain. So, like, for example, here's Saki, uh, Sarah Patra, Filament, and uh, this is Saki Alume's particular song magic. You have Momoko, Haveli, uh, Kabutatsu, Aredia, then you have Flip Frog, and then finally Zoe for Tyria and Aru, respectively. You get some character profiles, you can really kind of get into depth, and so they give you a lot of information for this stuff. The human catalog, monster catalog, glossary, help. Uh, the best sort of stuff, however, is these two sections the database and the replays. Because in the database, you can look up all of the information out of all of the Raven Tales. So you can see your your completion for all of them between uh, uh between all playthroughs. So like for Saki, I've I've got a uh, an A rank with her. For example, I've only explored 98% of her Cosmosphere, 96% of her talk topics I've discussed with her, and 95% of her humans. I believe there is like one spot that's missable, depending on the part of the game that you actually go to do it, which is why I missed that. But otherwise, uh, Finnell. 100%, 100%, 93% talk topics, 80% Cosmosphere, 100% humors, and 86% uh, talk topics discussed. So yeah, there's uh, interesting stuff here you can you get to see. You can get a database of all of the hymns in the game. All of the special hymns that you hear throughout the course of the game, including probably the greatest, like I said, Ectisia, here at the end. This is the credit theme. The theme to regenerate RCL and complete the Artinelico series. The whole series forms a suite. From their or a suit, sorry. From this first one to the second one to this final one. Each one creates a transition to this very final song. The final song represents the coexistence between the planet and its inhabitants. Love. 
which has been the central theme of the entire series, finally culminates here. Each personality sings their own feelings. That's uh, from Tsuchiya, the director. You can even play him. So you can, you can, you can listen to all of the music. You can watch all the movies, gallery of all of the art you can indeed collect during the course of the game, which I, I'm apparently missing some. All sorts of background music, battle voices, if that's your kind of thing. And you can replay every scene that you have seen. So every talk topic that you have ever seen with the heroine, you can listen to again. Same thing with the uh, with the party topics, which apparently I'm only missing like a couple, like two or three, as well as being able to review every one of the Ravenstone's Cosmospheres, which is really really cool. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this let's play as much as I have. This is th this has been a long time coming. The har the harvestasho. <laughs> That's the wrong word. Character in the game. Wrong word. This game, this series, I mean, Artanelica was the second big RPG I ever did on my channel, not counting Nocturne, or the like two or three days, or the two or three videos, I should say, I uploaded a Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> those of you who've been around that long, you remember those days? Holy shit! Persona 3, Final Fantasy 13, and Nocturne. Three games going on at the same time at the start of the channel. That just did not end well. Fi <laughs> 13 got canned immediately. And Nocturne got put on that long-ass hi hiatus. But the next big RPG I actually did after Persona 3 was done was, was Artanelico 1. And years later, sitting here having finally finished the final game in the series, or at least the Artanelico series, I don't know, it's a bittersweet feeling. These games mean so much to me, and I finally got to share this with all of you, this, this entire series. So I hope you guys enjoyed, because hell, I sure did. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you guys next Let's Play. See you guys then.